Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the basics of linked list. So linked list is a linear data structure. So what this, does this mean? It means that data is stored uh, in a linear fashion, not in a 2D fashion. Second, it's non-contiguous. So for arrays, like the memory was allocated in a contiguous fashion. So if it's an array of integers and the first address is 100 element, first element is at address 100, starting at 100 and the size of int is 4, then the second address will start at 104, then 108 and so on. So the data is stored contiguously in the memory. But in the linked list, that is not the case. So linked list is formed from a, a list of nodes. So these are nodes and these nodes are linked among themselves. So suppose uh, it's a linked list of integers and we have value 1, 5, 7. And uh, uh, so if this is at address 100 then this may be anywhere in the memory like uh, 310 and this third node may be at say 500 so these are not contiguous memory allocations and uh, in the node we have one is data first part is data the actual data that is stored and the second part just stores the address of the next element next node so this was at address 100 the second node was at address 310 so this will store 310 then the next element is stored at address 500 so the address section or the next section so this is usually called next next pointer so it will store the address of the next node in the list and the first and the last node here there is no next node to it so this was the last element so it pointing to null so it can store here null and we have the reference to the first node which we usually call the head head node of the linked list so in arrays uh, we can directly go to suppose 10th index and directly access the element there but in the linked list we cannot directly go to some index we have to iterate starting from the head node so while iterating we will be given the address of head so if I am asked what is the third element in the list so I know that head is the first element so uh, I can keep a counter and see what's stored in the next of the head so 310 so we will go to address 310 so we will reach the second element now 500 is stored here so we will go to the address 500 now we have reached the third element and we will print that third element stores the value 7 so this was the basic idea behind linked list so uh, as we compared against arrays these are non-contiguous and this is the main difference and uh, it has to be iterated one after other we cannot directly access a particular node in the list so thanks for watching in the next video we will uh, be seeing what are the various operations that we can perform on the linked list and then in the further sections we will see other types of linked list so by default it has just one pointer like the next node uh, we also have a concept of doubly linked list where we have not just uh, the next element next node but also the previous node so two addresses so one value and two addresses 
and then we have a concept of circular linked list so uh, we will see these in the upcoming videos thanks for watching